Hope that is simply spelled farm. Today we're planting wildflowers. All right, that's right. Today we're gonna do some wildflowers. Show them what you guys got there. It says wildflowers. Wildflowers, yeah. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so before we get back out to uh, to the garden and having some fun in the dirt here, I wanted to explain to you what the purpose of this uh, video and video series is. Um, wildflowers certainly attract um, insects and bees and all the like, but what we really want to attract is this tachnid fly. It's spelled T-A-C-H-N-I-D, and the tachnid fly is the mortal enemy of the squash bug. It will lay its eggs in the squash bug and then when the eggs hatch, boom, no more squash bug. So we certainly want to get uh, some aerial salt down here on Sumpty Sprouts Farm this year to try to eradicate uh, these bugs. And using a combination of methodologies, we think we can certainly put a dent, if not eliminate, uh, mostly this bug this year. Now, the tachnid fly doesn't necessarily just like wildflowers, um, but certainly any flowers are better than no flowers. But I uh, do have uh, a list of flowers and things that they really do like, and among them is you know, Queen Anne's Lace. And so we will certainly be putting some Queen Anne's Lace down. Now remember, Queen Anne's Lace is a biannual, so the first year you're not gonna get any flowers. So this will help us next year, but we'll get it down this year and, uh, and hopefully get it growing. Um, the second uh, second thing is they like oxide daisy and shasta daisy chamomile plant, something called feverfew, cilantro, parsley, fennel, hardy aster plants, and dill. And you better believe we're going to try our best to get every single type of these down, except uh, maybe one, the uh, feverfew. I don't think I could find anything for that, but. Um, as far as anything else, we're going to get those down in the garden this year and uh, disperse around. So hopefully we can get rid of this awful pest. So without further ado, let's get back to the boys in the garden and have some fun. All right. Okay. So Bradley's got some 10-10-10 fertilizer here. And unfortunately, he's standing right in the row where I tilled. But um, I'm going to put, sure put some down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just disperse it down a little bit. All right, probably go over that a few more times, but get some fertilizer down first just to make sure our row has some nutrients for our flowers here. And, uh, okay, and then I'm going to till over it one more time, just a, a shallow till to kind of put that stuff in. And We'll go from there. Okay, now I'm gonna get ready to till this. I've already tilled it a few times, but this is some pretty hard ground up here. But um, we just want to want to drill in the uh, fertilizer we just put out. So I put it on the second lowest setting here. The first setting on this tiller is for transport, and the blades won't catch the ground. But uh, put it one notch down. Now let's get to giving it a once over to get that uh, fertilizer in there. I do so fun with it. It's so fun.
as I said, you don't want to walk directly behind your tiller because then you'll leave footprints along your little bed you're trying to create. So let's get to getting these seeds in the ground. All right, so I like to water it down a little bit first, the bed down before I put the seeds down. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but for germination and things. And whenever we do anything inside, when we're growing seeds inside, we always make sure that the ground our soil is all wet before we, uh, right there. yeah, before we uh, put our seeds in. So Bradley's going to show you. I'm just going to start wetting her down here. All right, bud. Yeah, all along, all along in here. Yeah, there you go. Try not to hit the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot today. You know it's hot when you pick up the hose and the and the nozzle is hot. All right, we'll get this done and. And get the plant. So now, so now we're gonna um, be putting down the wildflower seeds that look like this. Mm -hmm. They're real tiny. Itty bitty. So you want to get a whole hand, like a half a handful. Yep. And like a pinch, and just. Yep. We'll go back over a couple times. Some people will use sand. They'll mix sand in with uh, their seeds so they don't overdo it, but. We don't really have any sand available at this moment, but yeah, there you go, bud. And you see, we just watered the uh, the row here, and then once we're done, we're gonna water again. Um, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so. All right, we got all our seeds down, so Bradley's just gonna hose her down again. Mm -hmm. So, so we're just gonna do this. Yep. Well, hose are down good, and like I said, it's going to rain this afternoon. Some people may ask, why did I do it right along the fence line? Well, two reasons. One, this is an electric fence, and I don't want any more things touching the fence than I have to. If you guys have followed our videos, um, we put down the vinegar, Epsom salt, and Dawn dishwashing liquid detergent right along the fence line here, so everything on the fence line is dying, and I may have to spray it again. So I don't want to accidentally spray the wildflowers when I come and do that. Also, I want enough room I can get the tiller between the fence and the flowers if I have to. So we're going to put some preen down to hopefully inhibit any growth over here um, between the wildflowers and the fence. But I uh, don't know how confident that's going to work. This, um, I do it like a couple times. Yeah. So it gets super soaking. Super make sure soaking. to make it like kind of muddy-ish. Yeah, almost muddy-ish. I mean, some people would try to rake it in. Um, I think with the Oh. amount of um, water we've put on this I, I think it'll be okay but that's it that's the wildflowers in the ground so there you have it guys uh, first um, squash bug chronicles are, are in the can as they would say in the olden days but um, <clears throat> getting as many flowers out in particular the ones that we've we've discussed in this video for this uh, this tachnid fly and obviously flowers are going to attract other beneficial insects is i think tantamount to uh helping us get rid of this pest so this is simply sprouts farms and if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel please make comments below on any questions you have uh, we're hoping that people can learn from us and we can learn from them and make this world a, a better place so until next time, take care, God bless, be safe, and we'll see you soon.